Hello, greetings everybody. Hello, hello. So, uh, we shall begin with our today's uh, uh, webinar, today's presentation about, about the technology uh, that we can say today is a revolutionary technology and is here to stay for, for centuries. And, and, uh, and I have many great news for you today. I, and at first I will show you, well, at first I will tell you about the one great event that happened or uh, we had a birthday, so to say. And then the birthday of our um, technology creator. So that, that was very awesome. What I will soon show you a picture. And after that, after that, we will uh, see some photos from United Arab Emirates, recent ones. And then we will continue with our presentation about uh, the technology itself. And we will see uh, seven reasons why Skyway is here to stay uh, and, and why we, if, if anybody sh should choose between uh, different technologies, um, then why this technology will be Skyway. And, and in the end, I will uh, tell you more about recent news. And that's about it. But uh, let's see. At first, a little bit about myself. Uh, I'm, my name is Michael, and um, I have been Skyway investor for about um, three years now, a little bit more than three years. And I'm very honored to, to be the um, investor and to have this chance to to become one and uh, and when I three years ago when I heard about this this uh, amazing technology I immediately started uh, researching it read all the news that uh, that was possible to find and then tried to understand the possibility or, or the need of it but uh, of course uh, after my terror research, I found out that, wow, this is something amazing and the world needs it and, uh, and it should have been here already yesterday. But of course, uh, as we know, times change and today we are going more toward electricity and alternative energy sources and, and speed is very important and so on. And then well, more about this, I will tell you in any, any minute in today's presentation. But now let's see who had who has uh, who had birthday recently, and this man is Dr. Anatoly Yuniski, and uh, he turned seventy-two years old. So congratulations and happy birthday to him! And this was a, a great event. So Dr. Anatoly Yuniski is, is the creator of um, Skyway String Technology uh, String Technologies, and he's the brilliant mind behind all of this. And thanks to him, we are here today, uh, well, where we are. So, as you might know, we have two different demonstration and certification centers. Mm, one in Belarus, the first one that uh, the building that the building of that uh, demonstration park started back in 2015. So, actually, in about six years, we have managed to to grow massively uh, we have more than uh, six seven different lines there we have more than 10 different models many of them are already certified by russian and belarus standards and as we know in europe european union the certification process has also started well it started uh, in the end of last year and then in tropic and for tropical climates, the certification process is currently in a process in the United Arab Emirates. But about this, I will of course tell you. And because of Anatoly Yunitsky's birthday, there are special campaigns made. These are these coupon coupon campaigns, and these are extended as well. Of course, I. I well, I recommend you to go to your back office and, and see all the information uh, there. And in the end of the presentation, I will tell you a little bit uh, more, well, briefly, but uh, more about this uh, coupon campaign. Uh, 
But all right, let's see some pictures now. Uh, first of all, well, they are all from United Arab Emirates and they describe uh, the latest achievements there. So this is the station and and the line, as you can see on the right side, there is the first uh, 400 meter line where the uh, tests with uh, passenger passengers with humans sh uh, should start any minute now. And of course, there will be three more lines, uh, which are two and a half kilometers long and for multiple uh, for models, different models. And for example, this cargo model as well, which should weigh uh, tens of tons. So there will be very awesome there's a demonstration park very soon. And actually it's called Sarcha Innovation Center and it's located about 40 kilometers from uh, Dubai. I have been there twice uh, as well as in Belarus uh, certification park. I have been also twice myself. But first time in the United Arab Emirates, uh, there were only flags. Uh, well, basically the <clears throat> Innovation Center is located next to the one of the main roads in Sasha and uh, the pedestrian uh, road there there were these posts long posts I think maybe three four meter uh, long posts and on them the flags the skyway flags were were, uh, were placed so that was a really awesome feeling to ride with the car and walk there and see the skyway flags but nothing yet was uh, visually well, the buildings were not placed there or, or constructed yet. But today we have, uh, and then second time when, when I went there, then the, the construction was already started and even the first, uh, the construction of first line was started. So that was really awesome moment. But okay, let's see more pictures. Uh, this one here, again, the same, different angle. And now, well, this picture describes something awesome as well, because this is the Echo House, uh, fully self-maintaining, uh, ma well, self-capable to produce everything it needs, electricity, water, and so on. And then that's also one product of Skyway. But what's awesome, a fact about this is uh, that in United Arab Emirates, there has never been anyone capable legally uh, to const uh, construct this uh, houses which are made from uh, wood so skyway is the first one that uh, was able to create wooden house which is called echo house as you can see on this picture as well so this is really awesome right, let's see reloads yeah it's almost ready Then we have uh, this security house, which is ready as well. Beautiful, small one. Well, and there you can see the road uh, behind it. Yes. Then the construction of another station is under uh, is under constru uh, construction right now, and um, is in process. So basically, even even though we have this Corona crisis and and uh, all these things this pandemic we have today in the world and um, constructions have continued perfectly nothing has stopped it so that all shows how how great this project is and that's why i urge everybody to to become a partners as well and here you can see tropical unique car and the 400 meter line mm. And this is this will be um, the demonstration or the certification process and the tests with um, people should start any minute if they haven't started yet. But what is certain is that uh, is that the demonstration and um, well the process of of uh, starting to certify certificate this uh, sea containers it has started on the same line that uh, unicar is placed but uh, mm, but this is just the beginning there will be much bigger sea container uh, this models for much for for much larger sea containers containers as well 
All right. I hope you enjoyed these pictures. And now let's continue with our main presentation. And at first we will, I will tell you a little bit about the history and uh, actually already a few hundred years ago, many, many people saw that we need to move on the second level with our transportation systems and, and uh, uh, what well, this specific picture is made not a few hundred years ago, but about 70 years ago by an artist who pictured the future, as you can see on this picture. But what uh, we should bear in mind is that we have very well maintained uh, first level infrastructures. We have all the cars, taxis, all these technologies, trams, uh, trolley buses, trains. Then we have metros underground, at least in most bigger cities in the world. But the problems still occur and they even grow larger each day due to the population growth. And of course, each uh, each uh, family member has its own vehicle today, its own car. That That's what causes uh, these problems uh, to rise and, and uh, new, well, um, uh, new sol solutions are needed, but what we can do today, if we think uh, logically, is uh, well, well, the only way to go today, if we have already first level and underground, then the uh, next logical step is to go on the second level, and that's what Skyway is doing. Of course, uh, in the world before as well, many there there are many technologies that uh, were basically are meant for a similar purpose, but comparing them with Skyway there we can find a lot of differences uh, on the right side you can see monorail this the technology is quite expensive also very massive uh, by its constructions as you can see mm -hmm. and I did research as well during um, for my school thesis and uh, what I found out this was that in Dubai where, where they built about 10 years ago they built a monorail track and one kilometer cost back then more than 70 million US dollars. So if you compare it with Skyway, which one kilometer starts from about 3 million US dollars, then the difference, price difference is huge and enormous. I have one more picture about the monorail here, which I brought out. Well, monorail is, is used for a long time now, but uh, not so widely due to its uh, well um, because it's basically it's not so fast and and it's uh, as I said quite expensive and the construction itself also does not look that maybe that beautiful and it won't suit everywhere and so on. Well, you can see if, if we so will start comparing with Skyway and later I will show you pictures about Skyway and you will understand what I mean. Then in uh, Germany, there is uh, this technology in use currently as well. Mm, also, bear in mind these constructions mm, and uh, supports, what you can see the green ones mm, after the bridge back there. They are after each about each 20 25 meters so again it is not very comfortable to construct it or place it everywhere basically it has some obstacles to do that so we cannot put it everywhere because it will not look so neat or beautiful or clean so to say and it's quite large by its constructions but uh, at least we have tried. Then in China, we can see this technology. This one is basically a tram, but upside down. So it has all the ingredients of, of tram. So it, by by technology, it, it does not. Uh, it's not. It's not much, uh, a, a lot. It's it's a lot familiar with uh, tram, similar to tram. Sorry. And then centuries ago, 
where we used uh, similar technologies as you can see on the left side but with stones and then wooden wood but uh, what's important to keep in mind here is that the models or the capsules were which take cargo or people from point A to point B they basically hold very strongly onto the line or the truss or, or, or the chain there and then the chain or the line moves itself so the models they do not have special wheels or anything that that will run them on, on these lines but the lines itself move so that's the main difference if we compare it with Skyway and then of course Metro uh, which I have brought out here just to show you another another but uh, it's reloading yeah here it is and about metro when i did research then on the second avenue not so uh, well quite recently actually uh, they built in the united states on the second avenue they built a metro station or the metro line and one kilometer cost more than one billion with b billion us dollars so that's also very expensive to to do and most again most of the bigger cities already have this technology but me let me welcome you today to the 21st century and the new age so to say the age of electricity and alternative energy sources and uh, green is another word of today's society and skyway is uh, basically like a tesla in, in car companies among car companies then skyway is something similar but on the second level and meant to transport the, both people and cargo and it runs 100 percent on electricity so we, which can be produced from alternative energy sources from wind for example uh, i know that there are special wind turbines that can generate the smaller one not the big ones as you can see near the seas or near the boats but i mean the, the smaller ones which can place which can be placed on onto the um, skyway lines the tracks and then then they can, can produce especially for for the skyway the electricity of course solar panels widely used and these will also be implemented so it could run 100% on alternative energy sources soon as well but now let's see why skyway there are seven reasons what i have brought out today and i will briefly tell you about all of them first of all skyway is innovative and as you can see on this picture this is animation of course but um, the, actually the same one we can see today in united arab emirates maybe not so gold yet but uh, but basically the construction is is absolutely the same but what makes it innovative is that it well it's construction it has this pre-stressed strings inside the um, rails and, and they are filled with uh, special concrete as well the filler and what else is awesome is that we can well basically implement this uh, well internet cables and all this kind of uh, communication and uh, um, well wires and, and uh, cables through this um, the same infrastructure and for example when we go to Africa where many of villages do not have electricity then when we start construction constructing these tracks through their um, villages or, or, or near the villages then uh, we can bring electricity to them as well that's really awesome and the internet of course and so on so it's like all, all, all in one solution hmm. let's see then we have this one here ecofest 2019 i was also present there and it's really awesome awesome day and what i well about five thousand people went there and if if another chance 
will come to us to investors to go there then i i say that uh, you all should be there because this will open your opens your eyes and then shows you will show you what what really skyway is and even if if you can you know like i did got the chance to try with the unicar which was up up there on the line that you can see there and so 50 meters above the ground and it was really awesome and here is another picture of me made from uh, Ecofest mm, or uh, yeah and as you can see another mm, mm, aspect positive aspect or, or the plus side of Skyway is that we can place basically um, Skyway can ride both ways because I will show you another picture then it's easier to describe to understand so here you can see so we can basically take the high speed high speed model which goes up to 600 kilometers per hour we can take it on the on the upper side uh, and and the slower slower ones up to 100 150 kilometers per hour the unibuses we can place beneath them so and and well if, if you compare it with cargo transportation or the sea containers then it can also be like this that one sea container goes from uh, point a to point b and the other one goes from point b to point a so we can do uh, two sites at the same time but with trams or the trains it's impossible to do that because they're placed on the first level so that's another mm, yes uh, great great benefit of skyway technology then we have this uh, fossil fuels, uh, fossil fuel engines, uh, which are placed in most of the well cars and trams and so on today. Uh, well, the vehicles today, of course, they are being um, replaced with, uh, or, or they are being switched to electricity ones. All well, the models are just, uh, and it's because of this European Union and. <clears throat> Not only European Union, but the governments around the world, they are stepping towards this um, electricity. Well, and, and actually this is CO2 neutral world. That's what it's important to understand as well. And uh, that's why governments are supporting financially. Also today, these projects which are, um, well, making change to, more towards CO2 neutrality. So that's also one benefit of Skyway technology. And then this wind mm, resistance aspect, Skyway is about 10 times, uh, well, has 10 times less wind resistance. And that's mainly due to two factors. One is the shape of these uh, models are made specially to cut the wind uh, very well, perfectly. And the other one is the screen effect, which comes, for, for example, with cars. If car, uh, car tries on, on the first floor, on the asphalt or on the road, then when the wind comes, goes beneath the car, then it um, has this impact with the road. And that, that's, that causes wind resistance as well. But Skyway is on the second level and there is no screen effect. And of course, first level, different problems, which well, to maintain this and then to, well, this is all take, takes uh, financial, um, uh, well, it all, this all needs uh, finan finances and, and, uh, and time and energy of people to do that. So, and on the left side, as you can see on the trains, well, on the train, as you can see, then what what's, what does the picture describe there is basically when there is a hard or heavy snowfall, then the snowfall can, well, the snow can raise the train from the tracks so it can go off, off, the, off the tracks. And that's why we need heavy, special heavy trains, which will clear the path from snow, um, similar to ships. Well, the heavy ships which clear the path from ice, so the commercial ones which transport cargo or people can go towards there. But maintaining these roads is very costly. And then with Skyway, we we don't do not have these kind of problems. Basically, we do not need so many roads anymore, and we can we can let the grass grow there. 
or just peatland. All right, I will switch to another slide. Slides. Oh, and here, as you can see, one thing is maintaining, but the other one is constructing the roads. And on the left side, that one describes basically if we construct, let be train railroads or, or just the normal high speed roads, then usually in five kilometer radius, there are big holes digged underneath the grounds to, to get the soil from there and to place it uh, under the tracks. So usually the tracks are digged seven meters below and filled with, uh, well, different filler, fillers, different materials, so that so that the roads can be very strongly and uh, tightly there. Yes. And then on the right side, in Nordic countries mostly, and of course in many other countries where there are a lot of mountains and the roads are needed to build through the mountains then the explosives are needed and that's also quite expensive um, and costly to do but if you compare it with skyway which we can take over the forest take over the mountains um, or basically there find find whatever way we we can and so and we need only these supports and the line and then we have this track so it's it's awesome and that's why it's much less costly as well to construct it some more pictures right and the third point is safety many people ask me about safety is it safe yes it is even if you turn it upside down it will stay there and then it's mainly because of this uh, motor wheel and anti railment system which holds it very well and i even know that siemens uh, guys wanted to buy anatolian Niski patent of this motor wheel patent and of course anatoly did not sell uh, this one but uh, what about more about this uh, safety? There are special radars, cameras, um, all this, um, which monitor and, and uh, well, basically see. These are like the eyes which see everything that's uh, on its way or behind it or even inside the cabin. And uh, there have been many tests done where people will run. Well, actually, it was Anatoly Niski who, 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 well, I saw a video where he ran in front of the Unibus, then it immediately stopped, then Anatoly Niski started running uh, toward the Unibus, and then it's the uh, Unibus also started moving. So it has this um, special monitors to see, um, to see all the possible um, accidents or whatever obstacles there can be. Now, let's see what we have more. Yes. And what if anything happens with the uh, Unibus uh, up high, then, well, usually there are two reasons what can happen. One is that the electricity will go off from the rails, so there is no electricity. Then we have batteries, which will take the Unibus about one, two hours along the road. But if that's not enough, then we have this uh, system like it, uh, like helicopters have the safety system, which will which can take people to the ground um, secure and securely safely. And the other other um, um, thing is when something happens with the model itself. So uh, the track is perfectly well, uh, fine. The model is somehow broken or something happens and we have another similar models and if you can see in front and in the back there are special elements which will attach perfectly with the another model and it can even pull or push it uh, to the station or to the maintenance so everything has uh, totally so it is safe 
comparing to this one, yes. I also always, always like to show this picture to, to tell when I tell people about safety, because as you might understand, then, then uh, Skyo is much safer than this way to travel. Then the fourth point is that we have our own models and products and many of them are certified already, as I told you. You can see a variety of them. And I have brought out one picture from Sasha as well again. And you can see the golden, well, it's not that golden here on this picture, but it's the same uh, support as I, can, as, I, as I show you under the innovation sector before. But uh, what is more, I have brought out more some pictures here. Me, uh, I am also presented on this pictures on the right side, under the high speed um, track, and on the on the right side up, up up upper side you can see the unicar and these elements as well. It's the element in front of the nose, it's very well seen, and they demonstrated as well. If something should happen, then what? What can we do? Then this is the Unicom the C containers, and before I showed you one, the, the that one was the smaller C container, but this is the bigger one, and this also will come to Sacha track. And as you can see on this picture, what I also meant before that one one uh, one on the one track you can go one way, and on the other track you can go the other way. So we can, we have two ways at the same time which is two times more efficient than today the trains or or whatever the transportation systems that uh, take sea containers from one point to another but fifth point is that we have demand for skyway today everywhere and then we started from belarus we have made our way to united arab emirates and soon i believe that we are everywhere in the world and then we can even try with uh, the Skyway ourselves. If you go travel somewhere where Skyway is already placed, uh, think about how awesome it is to to ride it, and uh, well, then say to someone that you know I'm an investor of this project as well. Yes, and sixth point is strong. We have strong and professional team, more than thousand workers today, and as I said before, that despite the coronavirus, we have continued our work and then that that is really awesome seven point is that the project is financially beneficial and there are two parties to who well two bigger groups uh, to who i see this is financially beneficial one is the customer let it be uh, governments or or, or uh, uh, private businesses or some ports or sea, well, seaports. So Skyway is much cheaper than the other transportation system, but it has so much, many benefits, which uh, other transportation systems I do not know that they have. And of course, a lot of governments already know about this and want to know more about this, and that's why tens, uh, well, I think about thirty delegations have been at least 30 delegations from all around the world has been in belarus in uh, in the certification center there but in um, saudi arabia we're well, not sorry in united arab emirates there are there are also many delegations coming in from the tropical climates mostly and the uh, address projects has has been announced in United Arab Emirates. One is more than 100 kilometers long, and the other one is a more, little bit more than 10 kilometers long. Both has the same keyword, uh, which is city Korfakan, and the longer one should be for sea containers for cargo, and the shorter one should be for uh, people. But let's see how it turns out and, and how it goes. Then we have many perspectives on the European market, the MENA region. MENA region is the tropical region and African countries. And, uh, and well, the, the perspectives are made basically all on the same uh, reasons that I, well, the same reasons which I'd already told you 
in today's presentation. And you can read about this uh, news more in your back office as well. But let's uh, we we'll, let's move on. There are not so many slides anymore, but bear with me. The ending will be awesome. So we were on uh, French television as well, where the sea container transporter uh, track was presented. And uh, well, I believe it's it will be soon every, every, in every television, even when we, uh, especially when we have this uh, uh, two and a half kilometer long track testing these sea containers. And the new coupon system. So the another group I said on the financial uh, beneficial benefi financial beneficial section that we have two main groups. One is this, uh, the customer. Well, mm, yeah, the customer government or 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 uh, private companies. But the other one. The other one, the, the other big group is investors or are, are investors. So we have more than 500,000 investors today in our project. And then this number is growing very fast. And uh, what is great is that we can, well, basically give our, um, so to say, loan the Skyway our money and receive Mm, the shares of this technology, the shares of this main company, which means that wherever in the world uh, Skyway projects are being built and they will be successful, so to say, they will be mm, they will bring in money, profits. Then uh, twenty percent of these profits will be divided between investors. And think about if one kilometer is about three million, starting from three million, and then we and if we talk about the hundreds and thousands and tens of thousands of kilometers of lines, that's only first step. The construction of it. The other one is uh, maintaining it and and uh, the ticket systems and so on. And so it will be a huge, huge project, guys and ladies and gentlemen. It will be huge. So I urge you to read more about this coupon system. And the great news is that because of the Anatoly Niski birthday, the coupon, well, the, the benefits of this coupon system will be prolonged for more than five days. So it will be up to 23rd April of April. Yes. Until then, we have time to, to make up our mind and to make the investments. So go to your back office, see yourself of all this uh, mm, mm, what are necessary to do in order to, to receive these benefits from these coupons. All right, and in the end, I would I will always like to show you a picture of the Dalai Lama giving his blessing to Sky Yuniski and to Sky, and he said that it will not be easy road for you, Anton Yuniski, but in the end, you will succeed. So let's see and let's hope. And if if uh, Dalai Lama says this verse, then uh, then I'm I'm giving my support 100% to Anton Yuniski. So thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, listening to me. The next webinar will be in um, next webinar will be in fifth of May, and the same time, ten p.m. At Moscow, Moscow time, and about uh, technology and latest news, and then let's see what what ha what has happened until then. So I wish you all great success. So a lot of health and and uh, be strong and positive all right see you